guys, welcome back to my channel. If there's one thing I like to spend money on other than myself, it is my animals. And as you can tell by the title, I am doing a Petco haul. Now, some of you may know if you follow me on Snapchat that my dog is currently enrolled in doggy classes. This is like dog training. She doesn't really need dog training. She knows her tricks, but she needs more like socialization with dogs. I wanna be able to bring her to the dog park and not worry about if a dog runs up on her if she's going to be like aggressive towards that dog because she just doesn't like dogs getting in her face like new dogs she can make friends with the dog but she like the first interaction has to be like chill otherwise she's not chill so that's what she's doing and today I picked up a bunch of stuff that I felt that we needed for our dogs and our cats and I wanted to show you guys some of the fun stuff I got because I kind of went a little bit overboard at Becco so really what started it all is while we were at her class today I saw these well there was a bunch of cute ones but I saw these cute pink matching dog bowls of course this like the small dogs and the big dogs but I found the matching pink colors for them because there's like all sorts of different designs um and my both of my dogs are girls so I thought they were so cute and they both just have like the plain stainless steel metal type dog bowls and they're dirty and they're loud because they're metal and I thought oh my god these are cute they're pink because they're both girl dogs and they're like this hard plastic they're bowl mate brand and I actually had a 10% off coupon code I think for these two which is awesome so I got these hopefully they are a little quieter than the metal bowls and obviously they are so cute because they're pink so getting those really kind of set me off and the next thing I grabbed was actually <laughs> this oh my gosh I think what is the brand of this oh yeah you this is the you and me orthopedic memory foam mat this is the XXL one and it's just like this thin mat because we do have a kennel for the dogs um but right now it just has blankets on the bottom and that like we keep having to like spread them out and um you know get because martini will bundle up in one and so I just wanted to put a mat down so that Nevaeh, my bigger dog, when she's in there, has something soft to lay on. Martini has to be kenneled at nighttime or she will 100% go to the bathroom in the house even if we've let her out to go potty that night before we go to bed. So she has to be kenneled in the nighttime. And so I thought that this would be a really comfy thing. And of course, since we were at Nevaeh's class, she always gets a bargain bin toy. So it's like the 75% off squeaker toy. So she gets to pick one out and we give her one. Here's what happened to Nevaeh's toy. And then we also get one for Martini too because that wouldn't be fair if Nevaeh got to come home every weekend with a new toy and Martini didn't get anything. Martini still has hers. Get it. You like it, baby. You like it, do get it. And I had to get some Chuck It balls. This time I got the rubber ones because they destroy the tennis ball fuzz ones and they like rip the fuzz off and it's all over the house. So I thought maybe these ones that are just the hard rubber will last longer. Maybe they'll be harder for the dogs to, to destroy because they literally, um, the tennis ball ones are in half, like they're in two pieces. So I'm hoping that maybe these ones are hold up a little bit better. And Nevaeh is a fetch hound for sure, so she'll have a lot of fun with these. We can never have too many balls. With Nevaeh being in a dog training class, we did try to get this um, gentle leader. It goes on their mouth. I don't even know where it actually is right now. My dog hated that so much. It was so sad, like I couldn't make her wear it. Like she was freaking out to the point where I thought she was gonna hurt herself trying to get it off. She just couldn't do it. She couldn't dig it. I tried for a whole evening to get her used to it. And it's just, it was so sad and scary to watch. And like, Doug and I both didn't know how, like what was going on in her mind that she thought this thing was, like she was just like trying to get it off so bad. So I was like, I don't want her to hurt herself. So with this alternative is actually what the dog trainer at Petco was using. And then we picked one up of our own. And so it's just a lead and it has this. So this goes like right up under her jaw right here, like in a, like behind her ears and her jaw. So it's like right up tight. And then you obviously use this to secure it snug to wherever it needs to be. And this has worked really well for walking her and like having more control over her. Cause you know, you kind of have control of their neck more. And we actually got these last week but they are amazing these are actually training treats and we picked out these little ones they're super tiny and I like them because they're so small um, and you know if they're a training treat she's gonna get quite a bit of them so I want them to be 
super extra small. These are mini naturals, healthy, moist, miniature dog treats with added vitamins and minerals. This is the roasted chicken recipe, less than three calories for a treat, seasonings and whole foods, and obviously great for training. So this is Zook's mini naturals wheat corn and soy free and made in the usa but besides from the training treats the dogs obviously need actual treat treats for when they're good and i got the wagmore bark less brand cloud star only seven ingredients with all natural bacon cheese and apple recipe free of corn soy artificial flavors and colors so these are the biscuits that they get when they're good dogs it says minimally processed treats wholesome ingredients gently mixed baked to perfection I just think that's awesome. Also printed on 100% recycled material, 35% minimum post-consumer content. So they really love these little treat treats is what we call them. And then today in class, the dog trainer told us we needed to get like a super scrumptious treat, like one that your dog's just gonna like drool at the mouth for, for when she is really good dog and needs to be rewarded. And so we just saw these Milo or Milo's Kitchen made in USA home style dog treats. That literally, they look like slices of sausage uh, beef sausage slices with rice no artificial flavors or colors 100 percent real wholesome and delicious break into small pieces for your small dog and so i'm gonna give them one of these because i'm i'm obviously the softy and i like to spoil my dogs oh my god it's it literally look at it it smells like a sausage where are the ingredients I bet it's totally edible. And as long as we're putting snacks into them, we're gonna have to be cleaning what comes out of them. And Nevea actually picked these cute pink designed poopy bags. <laughs> There's like bones on this one, little pink polka dots. She picked this one out and it was perfect because they're cute little girly colors and I just liked, because people don't know by looking at your dog if it's a boy or girl, unless it has a wiener. And this is actually something I have to get for my cat. I just wanted to share this since it came in Petco, even though it's like not fun. This is Science Diet Urinary Health for Cats. Uh, my cat, Alex, he is nine and a half years old. He's actually eating over there. And he has like problems with UTIs. So he has to have the prescription brand of cat food. And then I got a cute sweater for Martini because she loves clothes. She has a couple sweaters actually and some shoes and it's so cute. Fits her perfectly. And actually Nevaeh doesn't have any clothes and I was like, oh my gosh. So Nevaeh was there. I did try to get her some clothes from Walmart, I believe, and their St. Bernard size didn't even fit Nevaeh, not even one bit. And she's not St. Bernard. It was way too small. And so we had her there at Petco, so I was trying on different sweaters and I got her this cute little red sweater. There wasn't any pink ones in her size she was an xxl girl but it's so cute on her and the last two things that i got are pretty big but they are going to be so useful so we have the vittles vault pet food container this is going to be for the dog food because it's the biggest one that they had and it can fit right under our kitchen table and have this pointing out so it's like the most um convenient for use that way because right now we just have the dog food shoved under the table and it just doesn't look, you know, it'll look nicer in these totes. And then I also got one for the cat food. It's a little bit smaller because we do have the cat food inside one of our pantry closets and this will just be, you know, cleaner, more organized, look nicer, so I'm excited. And they both are, this one's 35 pounds and the other one's 50. They both come with their own scoop. And I think this is Vittles too. All right, guys, that is everything that I bought from Petco today for my animals. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to know what your favorite thing to, like, shop for for your dogs. I like getting my dogs sweaters and toys because it just makes them happy. So I think the toys and sweaters are, like, the favorite thing, clothes that I buy for my animals. But let me know down in the comments below if you buy anything fun for your animals. Let me know what kind of animals you have. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.